Alpha Pokemon can be pretty intimidating in Legends Arceus, especially if they're aggressive. But of course, this also means that if you get your hands on them yourself, they can be very powerful in your team. Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Arceus video. And today I'm gonna show you pretty much everything you need to know to catch Alpha Pokemon with ease. Don't have to struggle to take them down. You can actually catch them pretty easily if you know what you're doing. So guys, let's get right to it. Ooh, we have an outbreak for Rhyhorn and Magby. That's actually pretty nice, but I already got my hands on these bad boys. I mean, um, I caught them in the past days. If you're interested in a shiny hunting guide, guys, in the top right of the screen, you can find my ultimate guide, which I made yesterday. I will talk about pretty much everything you need to know right there. Anyways, right now we're going to do some alpha hunting. Let's uh, travel to the Obsidian Fieldlands for the first one. All right, so here we are at the Heights Camp of the Obsidian Fieldlands. The very first thing you're gonna do is preparation. Preparation is key for alpha hunting. It's probably the most important thing. It will make it virtually impossible not to catch an alpha Pokemon, guys. Seriously, if you follow these steps, it will be so simple. So right here, we have the crafting table and um, we're currently looking at this uh, bean cake with a cake lure base. So basically, what you wanna do is unlock the cake lure base. It's actually pretty easy at the very beginning of your adventure adventure in the Hisui region. Near the Fieldlands camp, you will find a NPC, which also looks pretty similar like this guy, a galaxy member. He will ask you to find some mushrooms. The mushrooms can be found around the Heights camp, around these parts. And um, if you bring one of those to him, you will unlock the cake lure base. And this one can be used to craft all different types of cakes, which you also unlock further in the game. But some of them are pretty easy to get your hands on. For example, the honey cake, which you unlock very fast. This cake is potentially effective at attracting bugs Pokemon and also those with fairy-like charms. So bug Pokemon and fairies will be a lot easier to catch if they eat this particular cake. And the cool thing is these cakes also take much longer to finish for Pokemon when they eat it. So um, they are way more interesting than berries. And next up, we also have smoke bombs, guys. If you unlock this one, it's gonna make it so much easier to hide from wild Pokemon. It's gonna be so easy to conceal yourself, reposition yourself around a alpha Pokemon. So definitely make sure to craft some of these bad boys as well. And then last but not least, we also have berries, but I'm going to show you that in a second. What we're going to do right now is travel to the Grand Tree Arena and check out the Alpha Scyther, because this is a pretty tough guy to deal with. But if you know what to do, guys, he is super simple to get your hands on. All right, so here we are at the arena. The first thing we're going to do is um, take our Braviary. Of course, you can also take another Pokemon. It really doesn't matter. But uh, right now, we want to position ourselves, get to our Alpha Scyther. Also, guys, very important if you come across trees, berry trees, make sure to always shake him for the berries because Pokemon love to eat berries. It's very nice to distract them with these as well if you run out of these cakes, but um, basically anything will do the job. So right now, what we're gonna do is save our progress because we just spotted the Alpha Scyther. And next up, what we wanna do is um, go to our Pokedex, check out the Scyther entry. And right here, of course, you can see that they like mushrooms, they like some honey, they like crops, they also like beans. But since it's a bug Pokemon and he likes honey, guys, obviously, we already found the snack which we want to use to catch this bad boy. So basically, the honey cake, which we just talked about, is very awesome at catching bug Pokemon. And Scyther also likes honey, so this will be the perfect treat for him. And um, next up, you also want to bring some Nana Berries. This is Entirely optional. You don't have to do this because I think even only the cake will do the job. But sometimes with more difficult Pokemon, which I'm going to show later in this tutorial, well, you're going to need more things. But um, this one will allow you to calm a Pokemon. And since Scyther is not really calm, this will help him to chill a little bit. Then we also have Raspberries. A wild Pokemon will become easier to catch if it eats one of these berries as well. So if only a cake doesn't do the job, you're gonna have to bring some berries to the table as well. But let's see what we can do with Scyther. We can carefully approach him. For this, I really like to use those uh, smoke screens because especially right now, when he's kind of facing our direction, it will be easier to get past him. He literally doesn't see us at all. Right now, I'm gonna use a orange berry. You can find these all over the place so it's pretty uh, simple to um, waste these on uh, Pokemon to distract them. Um, right now we can see that when he is eating it will goes from orange to yellow so it will be slightly easier to catch him in this state but of course we want to make sure our odds are way higher of catching them so um, what we're going to do first is take out a Nana Berry. So we're going to make sure he eats this to calm him down because he is a pretty aggressive Pokemon and right after that we're gonna make sure he also eats one of these raspberries to actually make it easier 
to catch him. So we're just gonna let him eat. Take your time. And uh, as you can see right now, he is yellow. He's uh, also gonna eat that berry. And uh, he turns orange once again. So we're gonna have to quickly throw in a honey cake before he spots us. And um, this should do the trick because he loved those cakes. And... Um, Right now, we're going to take any Pokeball. I mean, you can just go with a regular one. You can see that from yellow, he turns green right now. And since we're hitting him on the back of his head, it's going to be even easier to catch him because we get that rear bonus. And there we go. We just caught the Alpha Scyther first try. And as you can see, guys, literally on my um, Pokemon, they went level up multiple times. So it is super easy to level up with this technique as well. The Alpha Scyther, which we just caught, was level 42, so that is perfect. But sometimes the Alphas need a 10 or even 20 levels of abeyance higher than the normal Pokemon which you catch. Oh my god, you guys, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I just wanted to go and search for an alpha Pokemon on a very high level to see if we weren't able to catch it so I can show you exactly what it looks like. But we literally just encountered a shiny Electabuzz right in front of us. What are the odds, guys? One in a 4096. So he is currently yellow for us. I'm just gonna take a regular Pokeball, guys. Look at that, we've got a green icon. That is the green light you wanna wait for, guys. And we're just gonna throw a regular Pokeball. And as you can see, that already does the job. New Pokedex. Wow, man, I am super glad. We just got our hands on a shiny Electrobuzz. One of my favorite Pokemon. Oh man, I can't believe this. I think this is the perfect test. We found a Alpha Garchomp, guys. So this one is probably a very high level. So we're gonna save exactly right here. And we're gonna carefully approach this fella. So first off, we're gonna throw a Smoke Bomb to get closer to him. Then we're gonna throw in a random kind of berry, it really doesn't matter. Let's go with the orange berry first, because we want to lock on to his rear to see that this guy is out of our league. With the X, it means you won't be able to catch him in any way. So you just skip on him and focus on Pokemon with either a lower level or you wait for your Pokedex to be a higher level. We've got another alpha Pokemon right here. This one is level 45, so that means we can catch him. Look at that. So right now we don't have the X icon. We actually have the color of the Pokeball itself. So I'm currently in the second region, scanning for some new alpha Pokemon to see if we can catch those. Probably going to be slightly more difficult to catch the Scyther. And ooh, look at that. We just got our hands on one of these. So uh, what I'm going to do first is clear the small guys and then go for the big one. All right, I'm going to quickly save my progress and um, see what level this guy is. So, um, an X right now. But right now it turns orange. Okay, so it is possible to get our hands on this guy. That's interesting. So, um, what we're gonna do right now is uh, make sure he chills a little bit. So, with the honey cake, of course, um, the same kind of snacks that uh, Scyther likes. And also make sure he eats some raspberries to increase the chances of catching him. So, right now he's green. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna try another raspberry, see what happens. So I'm just gonna carefully approach him from the rear. And uh, right now he's yellow, so uh, let's throw a honey cake. Of course, he likes to eat these snacks. So uh, what we're gonna do right now is take out a Pokeball and hit him on the back and see what happens. Of course, make sure to get in the grass. And look at that, we just count Yamega. Alpha Pokemon with just a regular Pokeball, so you can tell that it is extremely easy as long as you prepare yourselves for battle. So guys, right now I think it is safe to say that our Pokedex level minus 20 doesn't always do the job. Sometimes you can also catch them on a higher level, so definitely make sure to just sneak behind them and check it out because then sometimes if you get a colored Pokeball, it will be possible. Alright, so guys, that's pretty much it. Now you know how to catch Alpha Pokemon with ease. If you found this video helpful, Definitely make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out big time. Already very much appreciated. Of course, if you're new here, don't hesitate to subscribe. There is a lot more coming your way. But guys, have an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next video or live stream. Take care. Peace.